65. The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. On Decoration Day, we'll go and picnic by the sea and take along some Lucky Strikes for LSMFT. Take it from me, Luckies taste better than any other cigarette. If you want a cigarette that gives you deep down pleasure, try Lucky Strike for better taste plus smoothness for good measure. Yes, sirree, Luckies taste better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Friends, there's more smoking enjoyment in Lucky Strike because Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Yes, better, and here's why. Fine tobacco, and only fine tobacco always gives you a better tasting cigarette. And LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Fine, light, ripe tobacco that always gives you complete smoking enjoyment. So to get everything you want in a cigarette, smoothness, mildness, and far better taste, switch to Lucky Strike. Try a carton soon. You'll agree, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Remember, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. The Lucky Strike program, starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and yours truly, Bob Stevenson, pinch hitting this week for Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last week, Jack did his fourth television show in New York and is now back in Hollywood for his radio series. Many of you probably wonder how he keeps fit with such a strenuous schedule. So let's go out to Beverly Hills and see how our little star keeps in shape. Right now, he's standing in front of the radio doing his exercises. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Relax. <sighs> Gee, that was a tough one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before continuing, if you find that these exercises are bringing you good health and give you that great-to-be-alive feeling, show your appreciation by patronizing my sponsor, the Continental Steam Shovel Company. <laughs> Steam shovel? You haven't lived until you've built your own freeway. <laughs> Gee, that must be fun. And now for our next exercise, which I will read to you from my book of health. First... Fold your arms. Uh huh. Now bring your left wrist past your right elbow so that your right shoulder is in line with your left hip. <laughs> <clears throat> now pull through with a twisting motion and loop around the lower end, thus leaving the right side free. <clears throat> <clears throat> now grab the free side, bring down under, pull back, raise to the center, and follow through, passing the left shoulder with the right arm. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I made it. Oh, heavens to Betsy, I picked up the wrong book. I just gave you directions for making a pretzel. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, how am I going to get out of this? Rochester, Rochester. Here I am, boss, did you... Boss, boss, what happened? Never mind what happened, untangle me. Where do I start? Well, first straighten up my head. Where is it? <laughs> I'm standing on it. Oh, yes. Boss, you're really twisted up. How did it happen? I'll tell you later. Now, just straighten me up, and for heaven's sakes, hurry. Don't get excited, boss. If I can get your head free, the rest of your body will snap back into place. Now, let me get a good grip on your head. <laughs> ah, there you are, all straightened up. Thanks. I certainly feel... <laughs> what was that? Your nose. It was caught in your keychain. <laughs> oh. And now for the next exercise. Oh, no, you're not going to get me again. <laughs> Boss, maybe this exercise will do you some good. Why don't you try it? I'm not taking any chances. I'll listen to it first. To begin this exercise, stand erect and follow me. Put your arms down at your sides. Now raise your arms out from the sides until they're level with your shoulders. Now let them down. Now raise them up. Down, up, down, up, down, faster, 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 up, down, faster, 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 faster. faster. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now conclude this lesson as your instructor just flew out the window. (laughs) 
flew out the window. Tomorrow's program will come to you from Capistrano. <laughs> Rochester, turn that off. Yes, sir. It's the last time I'll ever listen to that kind. I'll get it. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky. Well, hello, Phil. Hello, Jackson. <laughs> What's the matter, Phil? Don't you feel well? well? I feel all right, I guess. Well, what's wrong? Um, nothing. <laughs> hmm. Well, come on inside, Phil. Yeah, okay. Here. Here, sit down. Thanks. Now, come on, Phil, tell me. What's wrong? Well, I'd... I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> Phil, don't keep it to yourself. Tell me what's wrong. Remley's quitting my band. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> well, don't say that, Jackson. I'm hurt. I'm hurt to the quick. But, Phil... Well, you see, Remley's been with me for so many years. He's grown gray in my service. <laughs> Wait a minute. Frankie's hair isn't gray. Not his hair, his skin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I noticed the grayness of his skin, but I thought he was just dusty. <laughs> But then you had musicians quit you before. Why carry on like this? Well, it, it wasn't just business between me and Frankie. It, well, it was more than that. Do you know that it was due to Frankie that I first met Alice? It was at a party. Oh. Frankie introduced you to Alice? Not exactly. I, I saved her from falling when she tripped over him. <laughs> How romantic. Well, Phil, what's Frankie going to do? Is he going to join another band? No, no. He's getting out of the music business completely. He's going to buy a farm with a hundred cows. Oh, then he'll probably make a living selling milk. Milk? <laughs> Is that what them cows give? Certainly. Well, let me hit that phone. I got to tell Remley. <laughs> Phil, let me handle it. Maybe I can get him to come back. I'll call Frankie. Hello, Frankie. This is Jack. Now, Frankie, how about you're changing your mind coming back to Phil's band? Huh? Yeah, he feels terrible about losing you. He's standing right next to me now, and he's crying. Oh, yes, he's really crying. Each tear has a little head on it. <laughs> you will? That's fine. Goodbye. Phil, I've got good news. Frankie is... <clears throat> hmm, I can't understand. I only talked to him on the phone. <laughs> Phil, Frankie says he'll stay with your band. Oh, joyous day. <laughs> hey, thanks, Jackson. I never could have believed you could have fixed... Come in. Mary. Hello, Jack. Hey, how you live? Hello, Phil. Who hit you in the face with a glass of beer? He's been crying. <laughs> Mary, you're a little early. I'm not supposed to be at the doctor's office for an hour yet. Doctor? What's the matter with him, Livy? Well, Jack's going overseas this summer for the USO, and he has to get a checkup and some shots. Yeah. Anyway, Jack, I came a little early because I got a letter from Mom, and I thought you might want to hear it. Well, so long, kids. I'll be running along. Phil, don't you want to hear the letter? I'll hear it tonight on the repeat show. So long. <laughs> so long. So long. <laughs> So you got a letter from your mother, eh, Mary? What does the Yogi Bear of Plainfield have to say? Huh? I'll read it to you. <clears throat> My darling daughter, Mary. Oh, hold it a second, Mary. Hello? Hello, Mr. Benny. Oh, hello, Dennis. What do you want? <laughs> Dennis, you called me. Oh, yeah. Say, Mr. Benny, the weather is so nice. How about you going to the beach with me? 
Well, it's silly to go all the way to the beach, kid. If you want to go swimming, why don't you come over here and use my pool? Oh, I'd rather go to the beach. All the people there are crazy about me. They think I'm a great comedian and I'm very funny. They do? Yeah. I went swimming last week and all the people at the beach stood around watching and laughing at me. <laughs> well, maybe it's because you look funny in your bathing suit. Oh, bathing suit! <laughs> Well, how about going to the beach, Mr. Benny? Mr. Benny? Uh, this is Mary. Jack's banging his head against the wall. <laughs> oh. And Dennis, I'm sure Jack won't go with you. He doesn't like the beach. Well, if he won't come, I'll just take my dog, Prince. Your dog? Yeah, we have a lot of fun. You know, throwing a stick into the ocean and bringing it back. Well, isn't that dangerous? No, he can't throw it very far. <laughs> Well, so long. See you soon, Mary. Mary. This is Jack. Mary stuck her head in the Bendix. <laughs> oh. Now, go look, kid. If there's nothing else, please hang up. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. That kid gets sillier day by day. Oh, he's not so bad. He's not, eh? Then why are they getting idiot's delight to be his summer replacement? <laughs> I don't know. Now, Jack, do you want me to read Mama's letter? Oh, yes. Go ahead. <clears throat> My darling daughter, Mary. Hmm. Hello? It's me again, Mr. Benny. What do you want now, Dennis? Well, I forgot to tell you I didn't get my salary check last week. You didn't receive your salary check? No. That's funny. I made it out like the others. Everybody else got theirs in the mail. Well, did you mail mine with all the others? Uh-huh. Did you have my right address? Uh-huh. Did you mark the zone number next to the stamp? Oh, Stan! <laughs> now cut that out! <laughs> Stop already and hang up! All right, goodbye, goodbye. Hey, Dennis, wait a minute. Now what? As long as you're on the phone, let me hear the song you're going to sing on the program. Okay. I've had so many requests to sing my latest RCA Victor release, Mr. Mississippi. Never mind the plugs on the phone. It's only us and I don't buy. The operator might. Never mind. Just sing. Okay. Okay. Mr. and Mississippi was all I ever had. Oh, I was born to wander. I was born to roam. And Mr. and Mississippi made me feel at home. Oh, I was born to wander. I was born to roam. And Mr. Mississippi made me feel at home. My cradle was the river, my school a river boat. My teacher was a gambler, the slickest one afloat. My teacher was a gambler, the slickest one afloat. He taught me not to gamble on a petticoat. Oh, I was born to wonder, I was born to roam. And Mr. Mississippi made me feel at home. Oh, I was born to wonder, I was born to roam. And Mr. Mississippi made me feel at home. I love a tiny village. Town. A house, a little garden with kitties running round. I'd be a faithful husband, no, oh, I'd be a trusting friend. Until I heard that steamboat coming round the bend. Oh, I was born to wonder, I was born to roam.
Dennis, that song sounded swell, even though it was over the phone. It'll even be better on the program when... Hmm. <laughs> Can't understand that kid. Every time I try to compliment him, he either hangs up or walks out. <clears throat> My darling daughter, Mary. <laughs> what? I'm reading Mama's letter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, doll. Go ahead. <laughs> My darling daughter, Mary. Je <laughs> Come in. Well. Hello, Mr. Benny. Mr. Kitson. Hello, Mr. Kitzel. Hello, Miss Livingston. I didn't mean to intrude, but I'm dropping in to all my friends to tell them the good news. Good news? Mm -hmm, good news. <laughs> next month, next month, I am opening up a pet shop. A pet shop? Yes. Say, that sounds interesting. What are you going to have in it? Oh, all kinds of fishes, angel fishes, guppy fishes, <laughs> and, and boys, canary boys, parrots, parakeets, and cats. Well, aren't you afraid that the... Uh, Mr. Kitzel, aren't you afraid that the cats will eat the birds? No, no. Sam Cats, my partner. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. I don't know. Mr. Kitzel, I think you'll be happy with the pet shop. It's a fascinating business. I think so. You know, that was always my ambition. Ever since I was a boy, I made money raising rabbits. Oh, you... you know how to raise rabbits? With rabbits? What do you have to know? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Yeah. And you know, this may sound hard to believe, but when I was a boy, also for a pet, I had a pig. A pig? Yes. <laughs> and never did a pig love anybody like that pig loved me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Maybe he realized I'd never eat him. <laughs> Could be. Well, Mr. Benny, if you ever in my neighborhood, pop in and look around. I will, and Mr. Kitzel, lots of luck with your new business. Thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 See, Mary, I, I hope his pet shop is a success. Huh? So do I. Now can I oh, read... Oh, yes, yes, Mary, your mother's letter. Go ahead, Mary. Boss, look what time it is. You'll be late for the doctor. Say, say, you're right, Rochester. Are you ready, Mary? Anytime you are. Well, let's go. And, Rochester, you can have the evening off. Hey, thanks, boss. I already called my girl, Susie. Oh, you got a date tonight, Rochester? Yeah, we're going to Wrigley Field. Oh, that's nice. You and Susie are going... Wait a minute. Rochester, the Los Angeles baseball team isn't playing there this week. Wrigley Field is dark. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. Well, come on, Mary. Let's go. Well, come on, Jack. Dr. Grant's office at the end of the hall. Okay. See, this building is full of doctors. Dr. Iman, eye specialist. Dr. Chester, chest surgery. Dr. Head, brain specialist. <laughs> Dr. Foot, chiropodist. Dr. Smorgasbord, general practitioner. <laughs> oh, here it is, Dr. Grant. Let's go in, Mary. Mary, did you make an appointment for me? No, just talk to the nurse. It'll be all right. Just a minute, Mary. Uh, you've been to this doctor before. How much does he charge? Well, Jack, he hasn't any set fee. He charges according to the patient's income. What do you mean? Well, if one patient makes more than another, Dr. Grant feels the richer patient should pay more. Now, go on. Talk to the nurse. Okay. <coughs> yes, sir? Oh, I'd, uh, I'd like to see Dr. Grant. Oh, you're a new patient. Who recommended you? Recommended me? Uh, Miss Mary Livingston. I see. Your name? Jack Benny. Address? Uh, 366 North Camden Drive. Occupation? Unemployed. <laughs> Your age? Uh, 39. 
do you have anyone to recommend that? Never mind. Huh? Your weight? 155 pounds. Color of eyes? Eyes? They're blue, aren't they? Bluer than the winner's tongue in a huckleberry pie-eating contest. <laughs> Aren't you Jack Benny, the comedian for Lucky Strike? I knew my last line would get you. <laughs> yes, I am. Why? Well, a friend of yours, Speedy Riggs, is in the other office with the Oculus taking an eye test. Oh, Speedy Riggs. Uh, may I go in and say hello to him? Uh, certainly. Right through that door. Thank you. Now, um, read the top line, Mr. Riggs. Yes, Dr. Cook. Oh, hello, Speedy. Oh, hello, Jack. Be with you in a minute. I'm just having my eyes examined. I know. No. Now, read the top line, Mr. Riggs. L, S, M, F, T. Very good. Now, read the smaller print under it. Lucky strike means fine to, to tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Riggs. That line says lucky strike means fine tobacco. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, I'll put in a stronger lens. Now, oh, read the next line. A recent survey of 38 cities shows that millions of people are unhappy with their present blonde. That's Bran! <laughs> you should have known that, Speedy. Now, can you read the very last line, Mr. Riggs? Oh, yes, I know that one. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Poodly poo 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 poo. Where does it say poodly poo 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 poo? <laughs> Where? Right down there in the bottom, in the very fine print. Oh, well, that's the name of the company that prints the chart. J.M. Poodly Poo Poo and Son. <laughs> Now, Mr. Riggs, will you please read that bottom row of numbers as fast as you can? Yes, sir. Eight, five, six, seven, four, six, three, four, love. Speedy. Oh, Mr. Benny. Yes, nurse. The doctor will be ready for you soon, but I still have a few more questions to ask you. Oh, well, go ahead, nurse. Did you ask me the color of my eyes? I asked you. I asked you. <laughs> now, tell me, do you belong to any medical plan? What was that? Huh? I say, do you belong to any medical plan? Yes, yes, I do. Which one? Well, the Blue Shield, the California Hospitalization Plan, the ex sailor Sick Benefit Group... <laughs> The Actors Mutual Health Society, the Los Angeles County Prepaid Medical Anesthesia and Ointment Program, <laughs> the Linwood Poison Ivy Protective Plan, and the Mutual Cooperative Health Association. That's the dollar a day till they carry you away plan. <laughs> I guess that's about all. Well, you certainly belong to a lot of medical groups. I know. Every day that I'm well, it's costing me a fortune. <laughs> For Christmas, he wanted me to break his leg. Mary, you can stop with that. You may go in to see the doctor now, Mr. Benny. Thank you. Oh, doctor. Doctor. <laughs> Look, doctor, I'm here... Hey, never mind. Just come right in and take your shirt off. Wait a minute. There's something I didn't settle with the nurse. What do you charge for an examination? In nothing. Now take your shirt off. Wait a minute, if you don't charge people, how do you make a living? I keep their shirts. <laughs> oh. Hey, now let's get on with the examination. Uh, put this thermometer in your mouth. Yes, sir. And meanwhile, just stand behind this fluoroscope while I look at your chest and stomach. Hey, now hold still. Well, your chest seems to be all right. Hey, now I'll look at your stomach. Mmm, strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. <laughs> Haven't you eaten since then? <laughs> hmm. Hey, now let me look at that thermometer. Well, your temperature seems to be all right. 66. <laughs> 
66? Oh, silly me, I've got it upside down. It's 99. That's better. I'm surprised it isn't higher. Why? I gave you a hot foot. <laughs> now, look, Doctor, the only reason I came in was to get some shots. I'm going out of the country. Good. <laughs> Never mind that. Now, how about my shot? All right, all right. I'll get the nurse to help me. We'll each give you a shot. That way, we'll finish it faster. Oh, Miss Jones. Yes, Doctor? And we're going to give the patient some overseas shots. Have you your needle ready? Yes, Doctor. Let's start. Now, hold still. Wait a minute. What are you drawing those lines on my arm for? We love to play tic-tac-toe. <laughs> what? I go here. Ouch. I go there. Ooh. I go here. Ow. I go there. Ow. I go here. Ooh. I beat you again. Doctor, nurse. Now let's roll him over and start another game. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I'm getting out of here. Oh, Mary. Mary. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to read you an important announcement. The Army is expanding. This means that there are many fine careers opening in the Women's Army Corps. If you are between 18 and 34, a high school graduate, single and otherwise qualified, the Women's Army Corps offers you an important, interesting future while serving your country. 30,000 volunteers are needed. Visit your local U.S. Army recruiting station now for details. You'll be glad you did. Thank you. Jack will be back in just a moment, but first... The buds are out, the grass is green, the park's a sight to see. And Lucky Smokers smile at you, cause LSMST. And that's why Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Get your roasted peanuts here and popcorn cracker jacks. And for a better tasting smoke, get several Lucky Packs. Hurry, hurry, cause Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky. Go Lucky Strike today. Friends, here's exactly why Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Fine tobacco. And only fine tobacco always gives you a better tasting cigarette. And LSMFT, Lucky Strike, means fine tobacco. Light, ripe tobacco that gives you a smooth, mellow smoke. Truly better taste in every puff. So, friends, if you're looking for a cigarette that gives you complete enjoyment, pack after pack, switch to Lucky Strike. You'll agree, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Make your next carton, Lucky Strike. Be happy, go Lucky, go Lucky Strike today. Remember, Lucky's taste better than any other cigarette. Ladies and gentlemen, at 7.30, my television show will be seen in the Los Angeles area on Channel 2. This is the program in which Mary makes her television debut. Besides Rochester, my guest stars are Bob Crosby and the world's greatest golfer, Ben Hogan. Uh, Jack. What is it, Mary? Well, yeah, I'm a little worried. You know, I haven't seen the television show I was on, and how do I look? Mary, you look like a doll. You were beautiful. Oh. Well, was my performance all right? It couldn't have been more perfect. You remembered every line. You did great. Oh. Then why'd you say I was lousy when I asked you for my salary? Because business is business. Good night. Be sure to see Jack Benny on television tonight at 7.30 in the Los Angeles area. Be sure to hear Dennis Day in the day in the life of Dennis Day. Stay tuned for the Amos and Andy show, which follows immediately. The Jack Benny program is heard by our armed forces overseas through the facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Broadcasting System.